Hey what's up guys this is Jordi from Yepper Design and welcome to the basic color grading tutorial. Um, in this uh, tutorial I will teach you how to mix effects uh, so you can become some uh, nice uh, image colors. Uh, so for example from our video uh, Yamakemi you will see that there are uh, nice color gradings in it. Um, so uh, this is one um, it's got a nice blue effect somewhere. Oh this one um, some of them are uh, advanced, but there are also some basic uh, effects in it. Uh, and I will teach you that on, uh, on a still image. So this one here. So this is the original photo um, uh, from the Yamakami video. Uh, it's just a picture. Uh, and I'm going to add some effects on it. So first of all, um, I'm going to add a hue and saturation. So we're going to search it here. And uh, I'm going to drag it onto my uh, image. So that's hue and saturation. Then I'm going to add brightness and contrast. Brightness and contrast. And in the end, I'm going to take a uh, glow. Okay. But um, I'm not going to use it right ahead. Uh, so I'm going to unvink the FX right here, the FX. Uh, I'm going to uh, unvink it for a while. Uh, first, I'm going to do something with the uh, hue and saturation. Okay. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna think colorize, and you'll see it already has a little color grading, but we can do more with it, okay? Uh, we're gonna trace it to 100, so we see exactly what color we're uh, gonna use, okay? And if you move this uh, colorize U, you will see the color is changing, okay? You can use any color you want, uh, but we're gonna try to make a little 300 like effect. So the color gradings from, from the film 300. So if you take uh, the orange color, some dark orange, okay, and then we just move it back to 25, for example. Okay. Uh, now we've got a little sepia effect, as you see. Uh, and now if you play it with the brightness and contrast, we'll, we can get even more exciting looks. Okay. So uh, we moved the brightness a bit up, not too much, let's say 40. And the contrast uh, to make it a little dark look, okay. A little bit too much, maybe. Maybe some more brightness and contrast a bit higher. Hey, no, I'm gonna lower the brightness. Uh, th say 35. Yeah, um, something around this. Okay, that should do it. So we already got some nice uh, color gradings, like you see here. So this is the first step. Uh, and the end we got glow. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back on. Um, now the uh, radius and treasure hold is a bit uh, are not quite good. So uh, if you play with it, you'll, you'll see what the treasure hold does. Okay, uh, I'm gonna bring the treasure hold uh, up to 100 percent, and radius. Um, I don't know. Bit um, the intensity has to be a little lower. Uh, let's say 5.5, something like that. Well, just need to play with it, okay, until you get your effect, the effect you want. Okay. Well, there we go. That's it. Now, there's one thing you need to know um, for the last thing. Um, the position of the, your um, effects uh, is very important. Like, uh, if you move your brightness and contrast below, you'll see the image colors are a bit different. If you move your U and saturation below, you'll see it's different. So what this actually does, okay? The top um, effect actually has an influence on the effects below, okay? So first you put a U and saturation effect on it, and on, and on the image with the U and saturation effect, there's a brightness and contrast effect. And on those two as a glow effect, okay? So uh, if you don't uh, reach your uh, image colors uh, like you want to, sometimes you just need to play with the uh, uh, with the positions of your uh, effects. Okay, so uh, this is a good one. And uh, for the last thing, I'm gonna learn you something very easy, which will give a very sweet effect. We're gonna make a fake lens effect. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on my image. I'm gonna select it. And uh, I got my mask tool right here, ellipse tool. And if you don't see this, you just 
uh, hold your mouse button and a little window will appear and you just click on the ellipse tool okay and then you just double click on it double click and now you've got uh, your uh, video masked out okay now to create this nice lens this fake lens effect uh, we open up our mask effects and we're gonna increase the feather okay so we just increase it like this and that's all that's it you see you got these dark uh, angles right here and that gives your uh, lens effect well this is very nice <laughs> Very easy, very nice, very basic, and very nice again. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you learned something out of this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, check out our website at yepperdesign.com and also our blog. Uh, you can share your ideas um, on uh, photo, video, and audio uh, techniques, editing, and all stuff like that. Uh, you can also request any tutorial you, you would like. Uh, I'd say just check it out. And uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching.